Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, this is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we're finally putting together the Grogu Create a Clay Character Kit, so stay tuned. Sea Rad! Hi, everybody! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I think it's been a few weeks now where I did a Five Below Finds video where one of the items was this Create a Clay Character Kit. And I meant to put it together that weekend and then, you know, just life, life happens and so busy and it's the holidays and yada, yada, yada. But we're finally going to put it together. We're going to see how easy or how difficult this is. It is a clay character kit for ages six and up. So let's see how this adult can handle that. It comes with a little template, some tools, some little stickers or decals maybe to put on the face and three different colors of clay. So Fisher, I'm gonna set you to the side for a minute so we can finally open this box up and see what the actual items inside look like before we actually put it together. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude, boop. We'll see you in a little bit. So inside the kit, yes, we've got the three different types of clay. They look like a real puffy clay. I really hope they're not dried out. There's a little kind of cutting tool and a roller, and it looks like everything else is behind here. Let's open this up and take everything out and kind of get a good, good look at it and maybe read the instructions. Yeah, that, that might help. Has an easy open pack. Yeah, these are, it looks like they are air packed, hopefully so that they don't dry out. Little spatula tool. Little roller. The other two clays, the light beige, the dark brown. Aha! This is probably, you make it, I'm gonna guess, on top of this, so you know what it's supposed to look like. These are actually little cardboard cutouts. They are not stickers, so that's very, very interesting to me. I don't like, he's not smiling. He's supposed to be smiling, but to me that doesn't look like a smile. So maybe once we take it out of the little cardboard thing, it looks like it has an outline on it that isn't part of the little mouthpiece. And then of course it comes with directions and that is what he should look like when we're done. So we'll see. So reading the instructions, yes, this is a design grid. It also gives you a little bit of, you know, kind of different techniques that you can do to actually make the clay. So yeah, let's move over into the other room so we can put this little guy together and see how he comes out.
All right, so I gave you the speeded up version of me putting that together. I was going to do a voiceover on it, but I just did music on it because I just wanted to kind of give you a tutorial here as I show you. So it's supposed to look like this, and they give you the little template to work with which is this. The template is impossible to work with. The tools that they give you in it are just awful. <laughs> I work with clay sometimes, so this, I know, it was five bucks and I didn't expect a whole lot from it, but I expected a little bit more than what I got. So, anybody watch the show Nailed It? This is what it's supposed to look like. This is how he came out. Nailed it! <laughs> He, okay, he's not that bad. He's super cute. When you do them on the template, they tell you to build up on them and make them kind of 3D looking. The problem is the clay is a air dry clay and it ends up being this spongy. Yeah, and once it gets to this consistency, you can't work with it at all. And when you open the bags to do the clay, yes, unfortunately, it dries pretty, pretty quick. So I took mine off the template and I built them up on the back a little bit too. <laughs> I just thought it was fun. I'm a little disappointed about, they should have been like decals or something for the front. These are just, they're, they're just cardboard. They're, that's simply what they are. Just cardboard little things that you can put in for the eyes and stuff. I mean, he's cute. I made him. I love him. You, you gotta just kind of work it. The best thing I can tell you is to work in thin layers and build up from there. Don't start with a lot of clay, which was my mistake in the beginning with the head. But yeah, just and, and smooth it really super quick because as you can see, he's already drying now. So yeah, he is going to be, this is what he's going to look like. I can't even fix like little seams like that without it just bouncing back to the shape that it was. So, for five dollars at Five Below, it's a cute little craft that you can do to make your own little Grogu. I think he's fun. I think once he's dry, I might find a place for him here on the tree somewhere. But I'm going to name him Clay, because he's made out of clay. <laughs> and yeah, he's super cute and fun. But rating this clay kit now on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, it's just a rad, guys. Definitely not a totally rad. Cute activity to do, but it took me about... I, I didn't take as much time as I would have on a normal clay project. I put this together in about 40 minutes. Normal clay project, I would take hours. <laughs> and if you want to know what I do like normal clay projects, I made this, which is a replica of the candy apple from Disneyland. So this was one of my clay projects. This was one of my first clay projects. He's a little dusty. I need to dust him off. But this guy, this I took hours to do. This was just like 40 minutes. So again, super cute. Fun activity. Semi-fun activity. But definitely not a totally rad. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, Clay? We'll see ya.